welcome to LiveBait.tv. I'm Rose Giles and I'm standing outside the Stockton Gallery in Unionville, Ontario. We're about to head inside and meet a few of our artist friends, a group of seven Canadian landscape painters who call themselves Drawn Onward. Drawn Onward is a palindrome. It's spelled the same way forward as it is backwards. So anywhere you start, when you get to the end, there's a new beginning, much like an artist's life. We want to head inside and check out their work. They do some unbelievable painting from across the country, from the Queen Charlotte Islands to the rocky shores of Newfoundland, and everywhere, well not everywhere, but many places in between. Uh, these guys are something to talk about, so we want to go check them out. I love your cityscapes, your urban scapes, because you take the, the mundane and make it beautiful, which I yeah, think is... Yeah, that's kind of the thing, isn't it? I mean, um, it's that, to me, you know, translating an urban landscape onto a two-dimensional surface and trying to make it appealing is all about a universal mood that we've all experienced at some point, you know, when the sun's going down and the headlights are shining right. and, you know, things fall into shadow or, you know, I mean... Yeah, I get a lot yeah. of the sense that you're moving through these spaces, mm -hmm. like you could be driving through them. Yeah, or well, you... with the f photographic reference these days, I mean, uh, with digital photography too, you can get you know, an SLR kind of effect by, you know, blurring your shots. And mm -hmm. so I find that exciting too. Um, but yeah, I mean, when you look up at, let's say, at College in Ossington and you look up and there's an amazing sunset, um, doesn't seem to matter for that instant that you've got traffic rolling by you and whatever. It's just like, ooh. So when you're in places like the Arctic or you're in Newfoundland and you're out in the, in the wilderness, let's say, do you get inspiration there and then take those ideas home or do you often build things there or take parts of it home? A bit of both. You, yeah. A bit of both. Some is translate, you know, some of the work, the inspiration comes on site and hence will be a construction on site using the materials because to me a lot of times that speaks more clearly because the object of inspiration grew from that particular place so that's most appropriately where it should be and how I should represent it. Other times, I'll take materials away, and it takes time for those materials to evolve into an idea that takes me back to that particular instant. Or the, you know, it's it, sometimes it's a growing thing. Sometimes it hits right at that instant and mm -hmm. comes clear. Now, here at this show, we're show seeing some of your work from India, correct? Mm -hmm. You went to India about four I've been years. India a few times. This, this works from a trip I took to India, but three years ago and uh, I'm actually going to live in India this summer for two years. Um, I love drawing architecture in India and Rajasthan in the north of India. It's, 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 uh, it's, a, it's incredible to... So you're moving to, to India? We're moving to... My wife and two <laughs> kids and I are moving to India so I'm going to be drawing a lot more of India over the next couple of years. That's so exciting. I had no idea. Good for you. <laughs> So two years you're going to spend there? Yeah, we're, signed, we're, we're off for two years. We're leaving in June. I'll still work with the guys. I'll still be coming back here to do Arctic trips and showing with them in the winter in Toronto. But I'll do my own thing over there in India, and I'll try to... Keep it all happening. So I see you love dories. And being a maritimer, I love dories myself. Because you've been painting them for a while. Yes. Yeah. So uh, what did you see when you saw this? What was the inspiration behind this painting? Uh, well, I think that the, uh, the abandoned and uh, the old dories that have been pulled up on shore since the 1992 cod moratorium speak uh, volumes about uh, the difficulties and the, uh, the things that the Newfoundlanders are experiencing. And uh, so it's, it's very iconic and uh, I just happen to enjoy painting boats. So um, yeah, I've done a series of, uh, of dories. And, and, uh, They're beautiful. Why? Thank you. <laughs> well, you've done the rustic, rusted out cars in the woods. Kind of reminds me of those pieces too. Like you seem to like to have an object. Uh, yes, and, uh, and and things that were once loved and uh, and cherished that are sort of falling into uh, back into the earth are uh, one of my favorite subject matters. So the uh, the dories uh, certainly fit into that category. Well, thanks, Rob. We're looking forward to February's show, and thanks for letting us come and tape this today. And uh, we wish you the best of luck. Thank you, Rose. All right.